All right then, so um, should you be elected on May the 6th, what's the first thing you're going to do when you get in? Well, first of all, I think I'll start laughing because it'll be such a funny thing to, to happen. So I, I, I'll laugh for quite a while and smile for even longer. And then I'm going to think about um, what I need to do. And what I want to become is a, is a voice for the, that class of people that we talked about earlier on, that class of people who, uh, who are forgotten the outclass, the forgotten class, the left behind class in Stoke-on-Trent, because those people are my people and I passionately believe in them, because I've seen my communities, communities that I grew up in, who have been abandoned by um, successive governments of, of whatever political persuasion, and I see no future for them other than long-term unemployment, um, going on the benefits, being dependent upon welfare, um, and an early death and a sad life, and I, I don't want that for my people. I want those people uh, to get jobs and I want them to be offered a, a new way forward in life that doesn't involve sitting around on the dole. That's no way forward for my, and that will be my absolute priority if I get elected. And that accounts for everyone who lives in Britain, whether they be minorities, mixed race, uh, Muslims? Well, the only way we're going to stabilise this country and stop it from going down uh, the radical route, I think, um, will be to revive our economy, our national economy. That will solidify this nation, stabilise it, and stabilise all the economies, uh, the communities in which we live, and it will make all the radicalisms that we see potentially rising uh, go away, I've got no doubt. Um, affluence and money is a, is a great lubricant, and if you take that away, you've got friction and heat and uh, breakdown. Um, and so the economy is the key. And uh, that goes for everybody on that'll this make, island. That'll make social cohesion better. It's the only way. If you do not get the economy right in this country, I can promise you serious trouble and revolution in the future. Michael, and, uh, Co Michael Coleman, thanks for speaking to us.